Hey everyone, welcome. My name is Lauren. I'm a homeschooling mom of three girls, ages nine, eight, and five. And today I wanna to share how we do our beautiful feet books around the world with picture books. History lesson. I guess it's not history. It's more like a social studies, cultural geography curriculum course, but we absolutely love it. And I wanna show how we've done it so far. So we just finished up with China and um, one of you actually suggested that instead of going in order, you let your children choose what country they wanted to do next. So thank you so much for that idea because I took that idea to my daughters and they absolutely loved it. So instead of studying Asia first and then like Australia and Antarctica, um, and then Africa, we are, I'm just letting them choose whatever country they want to study next. So Larissa, my oldest, she chose um, Egypt. So we are studying Egypt now. Before I get into how we do our lesson, I do want to say that this video is a collaboration with Jackie from These Days. She is also a fellow homeschooling mom. She's got four boys for little boys and she does it beautiful feet books as well. She's not doing the same curriculum I'm doing. So make sure you check out her channel as well. If you are looking into beautiful feet books and you want to see how the lessons go, we are doing two separate um, curriculums from the same company. So the course is going to come with this beautiful course book. This is a really lovely course book. This, the font is a little bit small, but that's okay, like that's not really a deal breaker for me. It's not something that's like is gonna make or break the curriculum. Um, it would be nice if it was just a smidge bit bigger, but it's really not that big of a deal. And then it comes with this beautiful, huge maps book as well. And then each country has um, at least one up to several different read uh, picture books. Egypt came with the Day of Ahmed's Secret. Now, this is not the only picture book we will be reading on Egypt. They do library suggestions and historical suggestions and things like that. So that way you're able to, if you have a really good library, this curriculum will work really well for you. If your library system, um, it's hard to find like the more, the more obscure books, um, you might have a little bit of difficulty with this curriculum. So I do wanna put that out there. Our state actually has a really good um, library system. So, so far, every single book that I've looked up, we was available. So it's worked really well for us. So d just keep that in mind um, when you are considering this. I am going to get into how we do the lessons so that you can see like how the lessons played out. This time we will just be studying the map. So every, and I'll show you more in depth how it's laid out so that you can see that even though this lesson looks like this today, it's not how it's going to be every single day. It's going to be a little bit different every single day. I love it. It keeps it fresh. It keeps it engaging. It's not the same thing day in and day out. We're doing something different. My girls love it. They're engaged. Um, and it's not too like teacher intensive. It's not too student intensive. And so far this has been like truly amazing. Okay, we're starting a new country. What country are we starting today? Egypt, which I picked. Egypt, Lexi. You girls excited about Egypt? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what continent Egypt is on? Me. What, Lola? What continent is Egypt on? Egypt. Give you a hint. It starts with an A. Larissa? Asia. Nope. Not Asia. Lexi? Mm, African. Yes, Africa. Good job, Lola. So every time there is a new country, we just finished China. So every time there's a new country, they want you to pull out this big, beautiful map book. It is huge. It doesn't even fit in our morning cart. Um, and it just kind of tells you to explore the country in more detail. So we're going to do that right now. We're about to begin lesson one. So each different country has a different amount of lessons. So China, I think, had 12 um Egypt is a little bit shorter. I think China is the longest one. So Egypt has six lessons and it always ends on um, you're making a dish, a traditional dish from that. So the girls are excited. Um, this weekend, we're gonna make the one from China. So the one from Egypt looks really, well, these ones look really good. I'm not so sure how I feel about this. Just kind of a flip through so that you can see. So. The lesson, lesson one always does a map work. And then this 
came with the day of Ahmed's secret. So that's the picture book that the curriculum came with. And these are the ones that you can check out from the library. So I'm definitely going to do that this weekend. I'm going to um, reserve these two, the Egyptian Cinderella and a giraffe goes to Paris. And then this one, <clears throat> even though this is not an overtly like um, uh, Christian curriculum, this one, they do interweave, um, like they didn't really so much in China, but they're interweaving biblical history in here. So we'll see um, how many books we get about Moses and Joseph. I'm not quite sure yet. There's always a history and biography connection. This is definitely great for older students. Um, the one from China was a little bit over my girl's heads, I think. But I think if you have, um, you know, upper elementary, even middle schoolers, the history and biography connection, these are great books to check out. If they, you just want to assign them to have as kind of like their own read aloud, like reading to themselves. So, um, and then they, for each book, they give like a little blurb of what it is about. So that's kind of what it is. I, I paid attention to the... China books. You too. paid attention? You me girls too, all paid too. attention? Okay. Well, it just seemed like a lot of dates and historical stuff. So it just seemed like a little bit over you guys' heads. But you feel like you did okay with it? Okay, good. And then every country has a nature connection. So it comes with these printable, free picture printables. You don't even have to own the curriculum to do this. It's on their website. You could just download it and print it off. And so it comes with a um, outline of the country, a flag, and then some indigenous animals. And then again, it gives like a little bit of a quick blurb. And then it also tells you like videos that you can watch, short YouTube videos that you can watch about these little animals. Again, you can go into as much or little detail as you want. You could just color the pictures. You could really study out the animals. Um, so I like the flexibility that this gives. This one is a poetry connection art connection so you can see the the charlotte mason in there they have nature they have poetry they have art and then you are experiencing the cuisine so we can't wait to get into the study of egypt we're going to get started right now okay so it says locate egypt from pages 60 to 61 of maps then turn to pages 60 four to 65 of maps and explore. So then it's just gonna tell you different things to locate. And the girls really like this. They take, they each take turns finding, like I'll give them, um, you know, the one girl will get the pyramids, you know, you'll see how we do that. Okay, so first we're gonna find Egypt on the world map, even though it doesn't say to do this. Mommy says we're gonna do it. So find Egypt on the world map. So where? Um, Egypt is here. That was quick. Yes. 64 <gasps> is Egypt. So Egypt, you can see Egypt. here is Africa. So this is the northeast part of Africa. Northeast. Did you guys know? Did you guys know mommy went to Egypt before? Yeah, no. I know. Yeah. You yeah. did? Yeah. Uh, no, I did not. I know I did. You I know you read a camel before. I rode a camel. Yeah, that was Mount Sinai. When mommy was like 20 or 21, I went to Egypt. I rode a camel. That was the scariest experience. Up a mountain in pitch black. That was the scariest yeah. part moment of my whole life. <laughs> yeah, more than ah. Uh, I was pretty terrified. And then I also saw the pyramids and I saw the Great Sphinx. And those were the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. So it was very memorable. Oh. Yep, he didn't have a nose. He still didn't have a nose. All, even though it was only 10 years ago, nine or 10 years ago, he still didn't have a nose. Okay, so here we have Africa, and it has 55 countries in Africa, population 1 billion, 33 million, um, it's a little bit off. You went up that mountain? I did. On I a camel? On a camel, and I saw the sunrise. And you were terrified? Uh, yeah, yeah, but the sunrise was really pretty, and well, then we walked down. <laughs> I swear off camels this? for the rest of my life. Um, that is... Pharaoh, a ruler of ancient Egypt. Okay. Okay, find the Mediterranean Sea. Where's the Mediterranean Sea? Mm -hmm. No, that's not the Mediterranean Sea. Here, this is what the Israelites parted. The Red Sea? Yep. Yep, because they were leaving Egypt. Mm -hmm. And this is where they, um, in the wilderness, this is where they. Oh, Jackal Pass. Yep. Okay, so the Mediterranean Sea is here. 
Where's the Nile yeah. River? Find the Sinai Peninsula. The Sinai Peninsula. I know. Lola, where's the Sinai Peninsula? Mm -hmm. No, a peninsula is a piece of land, not a fish. Lola, find the Red Sea. You just point it to it. Here you go. Find the Red Sea. Alexia Grace, find the Nile crocodile. Nile crocodile. Very good. Lola, find... See, that rhymes, Nile and crocodile. Yep. Lola, find the giraffe. It's only visible in the petroglyphs. Though giraffes are featured in the petroglyphs of ancient mm -hmm. Egypt, they are now extinct there. Hmm. That's probably why. There's the giraffe. Look at all these cool little, well that one's not so cool. Ancient that Egyptian cats so cool. were worshipped. Oh. Yeah. Yes, good job. Prehistoric petroglyphs. Oh, finally. No, that's not nice. So there's the giraffe. Very good. That one was really hard to, to spot. Oh. What are you guys most excited to learn about in Egypt? I know. What? The Great Sphinx. The Great Sphinx? Oh, I was going to say that. That's okay. You're allowed to say I'm the same thing. King Tutankhamen. King Tutankhamen. King Tutankhamen. Which one, Mama? That's the funniest I'm thing I'm excited to do. What? <laughs> it's sweet ones. Okay, what this are they? This one. You're excited to learn about, oh, the cats. Okay, I'm not oh, sure how much we'll learn about them. We'll see. I'm not sure. Oh, you want to learn about the animals. The fennec. Is that how you say it? Oy. Phoenix. 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 I don't know. Phoenix. 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 Phoenix of um, around the world with picture books. So I realize it may not be for every single family and I never come on here and say that every single person is gonna love that just because I love something and it works for our family does not necessarily mean it's going to work for you. So keep that in mind. That's never my intention to just put things out there that this is going to be the end all be all for everybody because it clearly is not. But just for us, it's working really, really well. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. If you have not subscribed already, I would love if you would stick around and subscribe so that you can see more homeschooling content like this, as well as some lifestyle stuff I throw in there here and there from time to time. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate the support. All the kind and wonderful comments um, that you guys leave is just truly means so much and it is such a blessing to me. So thank you so much for being here here. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Um, until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye-bye. Hi, kitty cat. The kitty's down here. She likes to stay upstairs because she's a little bit scared of the dogs still. They're a little bit territorial. We're gently weaving them, weaving them. No, we're not weaving them. We are uh, gently introducing them, but they don't say fight like cats and dogs for no reason. Yeah, it's, the dogs are not adjusting to very, as, much, as well as we would have liked with the cat. Um, anyway, finished with China and we are going to, I'm sorry, I'm like really distracted by the cat. She's like, we have like fake like Halloween spider web stuff up and she's like walking into it. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh. Uh, I don't know why I said that. Why is like putting together a cohesive sentence so hard? It's like, 
<laughs> you guys, like I'm, I am, like I'm really, like adored. Like I, I can't string together a sentence.